thing? Where are you gonna jump to? Oh. down the street.
down the street.
give it a few more minutes as we got uh, just waiting for everybody to get into the into discord I think I need to, I need to figure out something to do with this mouse so definitely I'm, I'm getting the derpy shoulder gotta figure out good positioning I don't even know. You what fall up, off homies. something? Like, there's nothing to fall off of. Oh. <laughs> That's just but father. Me. But father, I desire falling off. <laughs> yeah. Gravity doesn't gravity. apply to me. Yeah. Gravity only works. Me. It's gravity only applies to the cats when you observe them. But I turn a little look. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, also, who, Beaver, who wants to roll Beaver. some dice for me real quick? Yes. Roll some dice. All right, Chuckles has got it. He's got it. That I hurt. got dice hands. You got hot hands, dog? Actually, okay. I haven't opened roll dice 20 hands. yet, so maybe, maybe not. So, actually, oh. it's going to be three different people rolling shit. Scrub. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, get, you don't get to. Jesus. <laughs> hey, what am I rolling here? <sighs> Alright, so Porkins, you get the first one. You get it. Roll me a d100. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Ooh, Boom, 46, the best number. That's spicy. Mm. Very average. Okay. Who wants to roll the second number? I'll do it. Okay, another D100. Ten off from greatness. Oh! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Glimmer with that, with that good luck. Interesting. Wait, what was Glimmer's roll? I don't even see it. Oh, I see it now. 79. Mm -hmm. Man, if only you got 10. That's, you That's literally are saying. like two seconds behind the conversation there. That's what I was saying. I was trying to get it, and then I just didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I've been talking to a muted microphone for a little bit now. <laughs> <All right. laughs> nice. Why do they hate me? <laughs> no, I know why everyone hates me. I'm well aware of that. All right, so that's not the surprise here. Let's 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 roll one more one more thing. 
I just imagine G Star's like, no, I want to roll the dice. Oh, <laughs> I want the dice. Give me the dice. <laughs> I don't oh, even know. know what I'll do it. For. No big deal. I'll do it, guys. I, think I, I desire that. rolls. What music? Baldur's Gate. Descent into Avernish. Ah, fuck that shit. All right. Uh, uh, Twitch. Who wants, TV to, who wants to roll the last D100? Oh, uh, that would be me. Oh, uh, a flip oh. just rolled oh. and rolled 100. Dude. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was just like, I'm in there. <laughs> uh, I rolled a quit. I got quit. A crit. Zerial gives you her bath water. You oh. win. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be honest. Destroy, sorry, I just jumped the gun on that one, but yeah. I think I deserve I that. I think you got, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I hope 100 is a good thing. We actually don't know. I know. Yeah, 100 is a meteor fall. Maybe I die. <laughs> Maybe we all die. 100 is the number of those uh, floating fortresses that are going to come and surround <laughs> yeah. us. <laughs> yeah, in 46 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Have, I don't know what. <laughs> Seventy nine dragons. Seventy nine crew members <laughs> on forty nine on a hundred different flying fortresses. Uh, I love that word, dongle. <laughs> it's a good word. <laughs> dongle is. And the fact the that it's like a legitimate word. word. Yeah. Like, that's that's the best part. Of it. Like it's not just I, I like, really like, would hate to work <laughs> IT at a place that uses a lot of dongles. What about because you're just gonna get giggles. Yeah. Oh no, we're we're very mature. Whenever I have to plug in the dongle at work, it's a uh, donger. <laughs> Naturally, raise them. Yep. yep. Uh, plug the donger did I, in, please. Did I put? Did I share with that you guys that fucking um? It's the best. That it's that other best. video, the the video about like how people. What the hell was it called? Also, my brain is is broken. I had way too much caffeine. Ooh. I had a, I had a, like a pretty strong uh, cold brew at like 3 p.m. and then <laughs> chugged uh, rain at 5:30. Oh Jesus! Oh, why do you do that to yourself? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I drink a lot of caffeine, rain. but that just made me palpitate. Because I've been awake and at work since before seven. I mean, but, I um, know why you would be like that. At yeah, Fair but enough. see, he bought me a rain, so he had to buy himself a rain. But he also has free access to the chaff cupboards currently. So, like, he makes himself iced coffee. And then he goes and proceeds to buy us reins. So, can't save it. Has to drink it. The other thing, too, <laughs> when, we're, when we're trying to debug the what Neon's got going on, something, I don't know what version of Windows you're on, if you're on, like, like you can see, you go to... Um, and see what things are using your mic to. I don't know if that'll help. Is it on the phone or on a computer? I think on a computer. Uh, yeah. yeah, if you're on PC... Right now it says... It's three shits as you... There comes in really stupid too, just like uh, internal muting or something. Like input volume slider, output volume slider. Did you check out both those? Oh, there's a Bluetooth bug on the. That's the mic. Yeah, Bluetooth on phone fucking stuff. Okay, well, as long as you can still hear us, Neon, that's what matters right now. So we'll do the quick summary of what happened, okay. and uh, we'll get going from there. News from the warfront. In the aftermath of the battle, the party decides to take some time. I didn't change my voice. I'm just making my voice sound this way. Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just talking like that. It's like, like taking um, the training wheels <laughs> off, and you still, you still keep driving. I'm like, um, your voice. Is this thing on? <laughs> testing, testing. <laughs> yes, it's on. Oh my goodness. All right. Now we're gonna be good. Let me get the summary out. The party deals with Visago. Amon breaks his deal with Visago and gets a boon in return for le letting the fiend live, another bonus to his warlock abilities at the cost of a gnarly scar on his face. The party decides to head back to Bell's Forge to return the rods he asked for. They are led down again to the lava depths as they find Bell without his giant blacksmiths. 
He tells them that he did not expect them to even return, and that he regrets not having them even sign a contract to begin with. He tells them that the Rods will open the Companion, and they should attempt to open it after getting the sword back and dealing with Zeriel. He then tells them to get out, as the longer they are in his presence with these items, the more he is implicated when they open the Companion. The party notices Bell is building some sort of armor behind him as they leave. They also comment on his deep, sexy voice. He gives them the location of the Bleeding Citadel, and Lulu is excited to head there. Before they leave, they ask that Balakos be promoted for his good work. Head to the Citadel, the party is met by Adelphi and her redeemed aboard the ship. A new companion is sent with the party, Ilya, to watch over them and keep an eye on Aphelion. Ilya seems to have a personal connection to Adelphi as she begrudgingly accepts the mission and leaves with the group. Heading in the right direction, the party encounters a gorge where some strange creatures slowly saunter back and forth. An orc war party ambushes the group, as some detonate in a cloud of poison, while others leap from the cliffs above. Ilya proves her worth by healing the brunt of the damage off the front line, as the party deftly deals with the threat. The bleeding citadel rises before the party as they make their way out of the gorge. Alright. That is where we are now, and where the session picks up. So, as you guys are making your way out of the gorge, I'm assuming you get back inside your war machines and slowly drive over the corpses of these things. You want to loot them. They do have some, you know, debris on them, gory weapons, uh, but no kind of, like, nothing of any actual value. No soul coins, unfortunately, as they don't even have any use for them. And, I mean, there's some gold and some silver, but unless you want to try to figure out how to spend that, it's probably not going to happen. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm good. Okay. You do, however, notice, Hamon, from within the war machine that you're in, the contract, the uh, the fiendish bounty, their infernal bounty, the uh, color of it changes. And then suddenly, in your hands, it folds up like a piece of origami and folds into a coin. Um, wasn't this... Well, there was something about being able to turn these in whenever, right? No. Yeah, we have a we have a thing. That yeah, you guys have the, the mini, you have the mini gotcha machine with you now. It's, ah, who has that? I'll lean let's out the window. Car. Oh, yep. Okay. In the same way I'm in right now. Mm -hmm. I'll look at the coin. I'll look at it. I'll look around. No one's with me, other than. Uh, I think we. I think we all were. You're all coming back to, to the car. The so I think this yeah. will be fun. Oh, okay. So yeah. Hamon, you're, uh, as everybody's getting people. catching their breath and heading back towards the vehicles, you have the coin in your hand. Uh, so the contract turns into a coin. Uh, do we want to try to put this into the machine and see what pops out this time? No, we no we're just going to hold on to the coin for no reason. Oh, okay, sure, I'll put it in my pocket. Let's go. No, okay, I, I want to see what happens. Okay, I put it in. Yeah. So the, the, the machine that you were given was this, as I said, kind of like a clockwork intricate cube. Maybe four inches a side. So four by four by four inch cube. It has that slight little, it has a kind of a piggy bank, uh, piggy bank pocket. Or a piggy bank slot on the top that has that can fit the coin perfectly. Out of curiosity, having grown up in the home of a clockmaker, um, does it ring any bells like the the craftsmanship? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's similar to some of the intricate. Just even looking at it, similar to a lot of the clocks or watches that you saw growing up, um, and kind of interestingly, yeah, I would say it definitely has. It definitely has the the look to a lot of the... Would it, would it be clocks and watches that your father made? Yeah, yeah, would have been that kind of stuff. Yeah, so it's um, kind of a smile crosses your face as you notice that. And then it immediately turns into a bit of, like, a frumpy look, for lack of a better term, as I think about my childhood and my dad and him being an arrogant tool and all that. Nice. And like his watches. And CR plays in the background. <laughs> all right, uh, so... Um, <laughs> Hamon, do you put the coin in there? Yep, yeah, I'll just stick it right on in. All right, so there's a there's a satisfying clunk, thunk, as the coin hits somewhere in the bottom. But your keen mind notices it takes a little while for that thunk to hit. Like it should have. Like the coin's not much bigger or not much smaller than the cube itself. But as mm. you drop it in there, it's like one Mississippi, two Mississippi. Kunk, <laughs> as you feel it impact on the bottom of the cube. Yeah, you shake your head for a bit, and suddenly the cube starts to vibrate. <laughs> the sides start to turn, and then all of a sudden you start to feel it expanding in your hand. Like, the gears and all the little, like, sliding bits and pieces start to whir and, and click back and forth. Yeah, I watch it with admiration as I try to take in what's going on. So it expands. 
lengthens. It doesn't get too much wider. Maybe six inches in width, and then suddenly there's like a bit of it that like protrudes out, and it looks like a Minecraft like sword now as it fully <laughs> expands. <laughs> About, I don't know how long that would be. Probably like three feet in length, four feet in length. Okay, yeah. so short sword. That ain't no short sword, dog. That's pretty what long. the fuck <laughs> on a short sword is four feet in length? Oh, are we talking the, the blade anime short or sword. the whole the whole thing? The blade. Either way, man, it's like it's still more than length of yeah. half your body. Yeah, dude, that's yeah, a I big mean... fucking sword. <laughs> yeah, that's like a long sword or has. Or even longer. Oh, so it's it's yeah. pretty it's pretty fucking tall. It's a it's a big thing. Okay. So this boxy looking thing, all of a sudden you hear uh, it goes silent for a moment, and then with a small click and like a chiming noise of like a watch going off, the top pops open a little bit, like a lid of a coffin. Oh, okay. Uh, pull it open a little further, I guess, and look in. All right. So from What's within in the price it, tube. yeah. From within it, you see. What looks to be a strange looking sword. Great sword in size. It okay. looks like it has some sort of webbing in between what looks to be like three blades. Almost looking like this thing could fan out into a large fan type of object. Oh, weird. Uh, I'll look at it and you see him on his face just kind of fall a little bit he's hoping for something less martial in nature um and hold it over to probably sonya pointed your way and say uh, there seems to be some sort of weapon in here if you would be so kind to try to hmm. the pull it out a i think could use this as well right theoretically but is it it's a great sword you said yeah yeah great sword in size i cannot yeah. use that uh because i am a weak boy it's true Oh, yeah, so that's it, my default. It would rely yeah. on strength. Got it. Yep, I am. Uh, I am dexterous. I I slice things quickly, not heavily. All right. So you see that this thing is yeah quite strange in shape and size. Uh, well, well, is, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I want you to go ahead and try to hold on to. It. I, you give me ten minutes, I can try to tell you exactly what it is. But uh, oh, Ilya could look. use it. That's that's also true. Oh, she can use uh, uh, great yeah. sword stuff. Cool. I don't like. I don't. What kind of weapons does Ilya have again? She has a, she has a war hammer at the moment. She has a war hammer. Hmm. I mean, right now, sonya has got the uh, the face shield and the plus one the, plus one mace. the one the plus yeah, one mace. mace. Yep. Um, yeah, was, in it. To be fair, I was Ilya, mostly uh, handed it to I was mostly handed to Sonya so he can at least pull it out and take a look at it because I don't want to make well, yeah. a fool of myself trying to hold on to a great sword. I mean, as it is, the of our current builds, um, <laughs> so to say, uh, the one that would probably be able to use it the best is Ilya. Yeah, uh, our strength or our strength scores collectively are graded on a curve. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So if you take the ten minutes, just so we don't spend too much crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll uh, cast uh, it. The sword is called Wyvern Wing, or Wyvern, Ooh, however you want to. Print. So it's an Wyvern enchanted correct, great sword. So. The enchanted greatsword contains a wyvern wing that is stretched between three thin collapsed blades. You gain plus one bonus to attacks and damage rolls made with this magical weapon. The sword has four charges and regains 1d4 expended charges each dawn. As an action, you can expend one charge to flick open the sword like a fan and swing it down to create a buffeting wind. When you do so, you can choose for the wind to affect a creature in either a 15-foot cone in front of you or all creatures within five feet of you. Creatures affected by this wind in the area you designate are forced to make a DC 15 dex save. On a failure, creature takes 2d6 bludgeoning damage and is pushed up to 10 feet away from you. On a success, the creature takes half the damage and is not pushed. The weapon magically collapses again as the wind settles. I mean, that I, seems pretty good to keep people off our healer. Yeah. It's also just hilarious. I love that image on it. You turn into a fan and it's like, get the fuck off of me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, like, what's, what's the thing from... Uh... Is it Breath of the Wild that has that fan? Anyways. The the what's it leaf? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the cross leaf. leaf. Yes. The yeet, the yeet leaf. The yeet leaf. Yeah, it's Breath yeah. of the Wild. Oh, okay. I think there's also a sword that does that. Oh yeah, there's the the sword you get from the like, the, like big, ninja dudes. The big oh, ninja yeah. dudes specifically. Oh, I'm thinking of the one from Smash that's like a uh the eye, it's like the 
or blade or whatever the fuck it is. Oh yeah, and it's, yeah. It just beats out the tornado. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one's. All right. So, anyways, I'll, I'll I'll share the information with everybody. I'm gonna kind of point out the webbing and everything, board, so. and be like, yeah, yeah this is uh, whoever wants to try to use this thing, be my guest. It's uh, not very useful to myself, but it could be nice to have. Flip goes over just because it's fun. She tries to do the fan thing, but she's so weak that she's <laughs> it's like someone trying to pick up Thor's hammer. Yeah, it yeah that's uh, <laughs> that's why I tried not to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you look I'm ridiculous. Not, shy. <laughs> I'm not the weakest in the world, but like I hold up my noodle arms. Ironically, I think Flipsis would, if she had proficiency in it, she actually kind of would be able to wield it because <laughs> she actually has this. Pretty strength or pretty strong, right? Oh. Or no, 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 I'm at a negative two. Oh, never mind. Oh, shit. <laughs> I just keep thinking because we keep saying I think, dummy thick tail. I think the, the I have average, a dummy thick yeah. tail. I'm That's constitution. Strong. I'm stronger. I'm stronger than that. <laughs> shit. That's right. my charisma. <laughs> All right, our new morning routine is everybody does push-ups. <laughs> I've been trying to get you people to participate, but all you do are. You don't even do the bird piece, especially you, Havon. <laughs> I, I you try to make you push me too hard. I can't do this. I would rather <laughs> why... work on my accuracy and my finesse. It's true. Form is important, but you still have to do the the cardio. I have pre hey, I hey, pre hey. I do I might not do the push ups, but I do the squats. Okay. <laughs> we, see, we see that. Uh, Flip yes. just does tail squats, just like yeah. yeah. Oh, We're yeah. all oh, strong like and hard and thick of ass. <laughs> that's, that's why my charisma is so high, guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Not bad as a group. So, so Il Ilya. Oh, we got working. All right, cool. Uh, I switched to my phone, so if I cut out, sorry. It's okay, fine. Um, we know why. You sound good. <laughs> so Elia had pulled like a nail file out of nowhere as all you were like discussing the sword before finally kind of just dropping off the vehicle coming over picking up the sword and walking back can we please leave <laughs> right don't stop in Avenus I remember um, uh, I was sure. we have a magic item I want to figure out what's going on with these things Did now we... it's possibly useful for yourself I don't Did know who else uses what our workout routine was I mean I, I'm I'm I was still on that. I mean, we can. And I just can... kind of watch her, like, where the f does she come from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, we can definitely talk about our workout routine before bedding down tonight, but we should get moving, yeah. Yeah, so you guys see out of the gorge in front of you, looming up against the red smoke filled skyline, what looks to be a ivory citadel poking out of what looks to be a large kind of hill or. And then silhouetted oh, okay. against the sky as well, you actually can see chains, like strung up, attached to the side of the mountain, going down into the earth around it. Corpses of the of the bodies around you crunch under the wheels of the war machines as you guys take off, driving towards the bleeding citadel. And as she gets closer and closer and closer, Lulu gets even more excited. You can see uh, her excitement growing. She even starts to like glow a little bit more than normal does she have that like like little kid like i'm so excited i look constipated look yeah she's on the back like behind <laughs> sonya behind sonya in the in the war machine in the front uncrashable she's like oh, doing yeah. the thing where she just her little elephant head is like going from like one side of the seat to the other side of the seat behind him the trunk like like poking out next to his head it's kind of like a dog in the back seat of a car oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck are you doing get that shit off of there <sighs> um, but yeah, as you guys get close, you guys see looming out of the ground this kind of large monumental thing. It's pretty fucking big. And uh, as Aphelion kind of noted, it probably would be a good idea to to bed down and to, to get some rest before you head in there. You get, an ominous, feeling. You get an ominous feeling from the, from the area around it. All right. Um, we should probably have watches tonight, just... Probably would be safe. I think Come that's on's fair. got a watch, right? Nope. Come on. You don't have a watch? So no, I, I think you're just 
Everything just cut out for me for a minute. I missed the last like 30 seconds. Don't worry, it's <laughs> not worth anything. Okay. <laughs> just, uh, it was my well, dad joke, guys. Yeah, it, it, uh, like, my dad made watches, but like... Not what I meant. Oh, we're talking um, about long resting? Yeah, don't, don't, yeah, yeah, we're talking about long yeah. resting and okay. having a, a watch order and... and no. So Derpy um, just upset us all. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I, see I take time. psychic nice. damage, but I'm it. not in Destroy's campaign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say ah, that yes. I could. I can remember I have a tiny chapel, so we could fit. I think all the tiny stuff. chapel. Yeah, <laughs> so ridiculous. Little Lux Vegas so we had, chapel. Um, yeah. Neon's got the alarm. So last, yeah, an alarm. That's a that's a great idea. Um, last campaign, it was the tiny Pizza Hut, right? With Bjorn, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the little Pizza Hut. Um, uh, if, I ever get, if I ever get the mansion, that's going to be like, I don't know. I'll, it's I'll such a great one. Chapel. Oh, compound. It's a high compound. level spell. Yeah. Which it's weird. I hadn't realized how high level that spell is because of how much Scanlan used it. Well, it's, it's such like a powerful thing yeah. to pick. Yeah. Yeah. And the, the RP on that is just fantastic. Mm hmm. So yeah, I'll I'll start putting out great. start the yeah, ritual so path. You circle it. up yeah. the wagons, keep mm -hmm. things out there, and you get the you get the little chapel put up. And as you guys are all getting ready, Lulu is just kind of sitting by, and just sitting there, kind of smiling. Elephant could smile, and uh, now that you've brought her all the way back here, it seems the memories are are flooding back in. She's uh she's definitely getting um she's definitely getting more and more back. She she looks at you all and she says, "I um, I think that I got some of my uh my powers back when when I saw this place. And uh, well, I think I can bless you guys now. I can help heal a little bit. Uh, I got some protection. Hopefully that'll help out a lot. And uh, well, I I do remember quite a lot. It's all kind of flooding back, uh, like a a big river." Oh, I used to remember. I, I remember something. I, I don't know if I can do it right now, but I used to be able to shape change. I was once a golden mammoth, and I was Zeriel's war mount. Yeah, that's right. In the past, she rode me into battle. That can come in handy. How do you forget shit like yeah, that? That makes way more sense. I always imagined her like having you on a leash as her war mount before. No. This way, this makes way more sense. Wait. Well, the question that I have is, did you start like that? And then and then you like shifted into this and someone put you in an elephant? No, or no. or did you start like this and you shifted in mammoth? No, 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 no. This is how I normally look. And then when Zeriel needs me, I shift to a <clears throat> mammoth. I hold my breath and I go and I get really big. Oh, that is very interesting. So you inflate yourself. Okay, yeah. try it. So is that like a something you can do whenever you want? Uh, I think I used to. I'm gonna gotcha. I'm gonna stare at Lulu. Like I'm gonna give her this face. I'm just gonna be like, do it. And I'm just kinda gonna <laughs> just I'm gonna, do it. I'm gonna match her face as she does like as she tries I'm gonna tiefling match the elephant's face as she tries to just like yeah, she just like, looks, looks like super she's constipated trying to and, and don't let your pack of dreams be dreams. Yeah, and I'm just gonna, come on, come on, you you got it, you can do it, Lolo. She tries really, really hard. Her trunk like sticking out straight, like. <laughs> I don't think I have it in me anymore. Maybe. Well, you didn't hold your breath for very long. No, 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 no. Maybe when I find when we find the sword eventually. <gasps> oh, I remember. Did I did I already tell you this? I don't remember if I told. Um, I think, I think Daryl's most, I wonder if she's still here. Daryl's most loyal hell rider, she's the one who took the, took me with her and, and took the sword and put it in a rock. That's when the, the citadel sprung up around her. She, I hope she's still in there. You guys think she's still alive? Oh, Will maybe. she be friendly? Yeah, well, huh? she tried and stop us from taking the sword. No, 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 she was very good. But what if hell has changed her? Like uh, it did Zeriel. Um, okay. I was like uh, side eyes towards um, Churro. <laughs> Back and forth. Churro's doing the um, the doggy boot scoot across the across <laughs> the dirt, just like <sighs> just hauling. 
small a small <laughs> green stain follows him. Oh, like, oh, oh. I'm not gonna think too carefully about that one. Not like sugar or anything. Careful. Um, so you're saying that there's a you you think these uh, Hellrider may still be here oh, well, after all this time? I've lost track of time, so I don't know. See? I mean, I'll, I'll take a. Bond was still there, but he was also bad. I hope she's okay. She's still good. I'll take a kind of a closer look at Lulu while she's talking to see if I can detect anything that's changed from like a magical aura or something that I might be able to see. Yeah, give me an arcana check. This is this is the doctor's like, you know, hold the chin, look left, look right kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Cough. 18. Um, so, you can see that like her fur is a little bit more golden. There's just kind of like little dots of light that are flitting around her right now, just kind of little dusty motes. She looks hmm. like she's, you know, glowing and floating a little bit more. It looks like there's a light breeze blowing her fur and tufts of hair, but there's definitely okay. no breeze here. Neat. So that's the proximity. The you think it's the prox, or what I think is someone that it's a proximity to the sword or returning that might be triggering this response. Possibly, like, yeah. Thinks, I mean, this is she's but... she's obviously has like. You know, brightened up as she has gotten closer mm -hmm. to this thing. Interesting. Okay. The last thing she says before you guys go to bed, she, her eyes, like go wide one more time and then narrow, and she actually looks angry. She says, "Hmm. I also remembered why I can't remember. Remember when I always said Mahadi was my friend? I remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Not my friend." <gasps> Shocked. <laughs> do we need to find him to deliver an ass beating? <laughs> do we gotta go? You guys do we gotta know, take him down, Lulu? Do you all know what happens when you go inside the river Styx? No. I am sort of familiar. You, you, you lose all memory of where you first became. Well, your previous lives, correct? I remember Mahadi pouring something on me. I don't know why I didn't put and two and two I together earlier. Remember but... anything. This makes sense. Do you know a way that this is undone? Other than just being closer to the source of your... Being with you guys is slowly helping, so we gotta find the sword and I think we'll be good. I'm remembering more from now than I remember when I was back in that tower with that otter. Alright, oh. I forgot about that. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you started in the tower with the otter. Yeah. Yeah, um... Guys, we were sent to hell like an otter. Yeah, we were sent to hell by an otter. It's a long story. It's a very powerful mage. I mean, just, that was basically the story. We were sent to hell by an otter. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's true. There's not much else there. But to There's be fair, the otter, the otter <laughs> was an archmage. Yes. So, I feel like that context is not important. I I think this story is probably more interesting without that context, but. Uh, it, gives also, some that, it gives some flavor to the whole situation. Yeah, yeah, and also that context is amusing in and of itself. Hmm. Well, if we ever see Mahadi again, I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. Well, not really. I don't want to do that again. Do that. Because yeah, so he already took already a lot of you. And it hasn't more. worked out too well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's... Yeah. And also, we were, I'm trying to remember, because this has been a while. I didn't take very good notes on this. Mahadi is the eyes of... Asmodeus. Which is Modius, that's right. Yeah, so we really don't want to probably don't want to mess with him unless it's kind of a double finger, let's get the hell out of hell. Last move, so probably. When she tells you guys this, I think so. You remember, I, I don't remember if any of you rolled for it, and it was probably it was so long ago that you've probably forgotten it. Um, there yes. was a moment when Lulu, when you guys arrived at the Emporium with Lulu, that he had a um, yeah, he had a reaction to, to seeing her, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But the thing, I at that point, we probably just thought, hey, it's and a... it wasn't a reaction of like, it was, it was the, what's the the fucking um, Loki disguised as Odin reaction? It was the oh shit. Oh, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, we did roll for that because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember yeah, that. Yeah. Like we were absolutely yeah, it does ring it's a like, bell. oh, I remember you, and it's like, is it bad intentions or good? And like, I, I kind of remember intentions, like, but it was. Then we got like, distracted we by rolled. food. 
Yeah, I think we all rolled really Which well on the inside watch. Yeah, he, his his reaction to seeing her was that yeah, of true. like like oh shit, like she's here, and then also a kind of a heavy like almost, it was regret, like a heavy like it, he wasn't. It was like a you real somebody realizing like it's like a you know a, a painful memory of something that he wished he didn't do, that he wished he didn't do. Wish that, he did not do. Right, right, right. Wish he um, had not done. Yes. I, I suppose the next time Wish we find the... Uh... do what he had done before. Yeah. yeah, yeah the next time we English. find the uh, Mahadi, we can try to... Uh, I mean, I, you say give him a piece of his mind. If your mind, I agree. We should try to figure out exactly why he got pulled into this whole thing. Uh, maybe there's some room for uh, reparations from his end if he's... Yeah, I'm going to give him some strong words. He was my friend, but he's still... Still it wasn't muddled really. my mind. <clears throat> no, that's not Maybe really it was friends for your own reason. safety? Maybe he had his best can, intentions? Maybe. He, hasn't har he didn't harm me. He didn't want you getting wrapped up in all of this hell business, you know? Uh, well, if we're trying to really? think about this as yeah, Mahali being the, here not knowing who you are, he's really. the eyes of Asmodeus. Well, he also didn't try to impair us either in any way. No, yeah, but this could be it, something he's acting on as Modius's actions here, right? I don't, Trying I don't to keep he... the peace within the upper the upper layer. I mean, here's the thing. I think if he was acting with uh, under orders of Asmodeus, uh, he probably would have already tried to kill us. No, see, I, that's what I'm trying to say. Is, is it's less of an act of, you know, keeping the peace and more of a. It's more of a passive approach. He's just trying to do the thing to keep Avernus where it is now with the blood war. Anything to disrupt that, which Zeri already did, I do not think he wants this to change. Which gives me more incentive to make this change. To rescue Zeri. Well, we'll figure it out when it happens, but... He turns Indeed. her head and looks up above <clears throat> at this looming structure. We gotta figure out how to get in there tomorrow. So everybody get some good sleep. Indeed. One piece at a time. Okay, oh, I go through now. Bye. Yeah. Uh, throughout the night, I won't make you guys do too much, but throughout the night, the watches go uneventfully. As Oh, can I use that time for uh, spell writing yes, again? Two hours, right? Yep. Okay. So it's fairly quiet, surprisingly quiet, as you sit around this thing. There's just kind of some weird creaks and groans, things that kind of sound like um, like a forest creaking in the night. Just kind of like branches and tall, tall trees swaying and kind of groaning. There's no trees around you. It's a little bit unsettling. The chains also throughout the night seem to slowly flex, like sometimes getting slack and then other times slowly growing taut and almost vibrating like they're being pulled. Spooky. Spooky indeed. Morning comes, whatever morning is. Get your long rest. And as the dome falls, the little chapel falls, you see once again now the kind of semi-transparent uh, layer gone from you. You see that gleaming white citadel slowly being consumed by this mountain. What do you guys do? Uh, what I do is I roll a d8 plus 2. All right, yeah. so we doing burpees, you said? Yeah, Sonya, Sonya what's your morning routine? I'm skipping those. <laughs> no. <laughs> Getting in that. I'll no, do okay, the squat sorry. part of them. Uh, I say we put it to a vote. Who votes we skip the, the exercises? Yeah, you know morning. what? Maybe we maybe we start tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. you know, my, my face is still kind of really hurting after everything. I, I don't... Every time I move, it just goes... Yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, you know, I just... And imagine... Oh, <laughs> if I got sweat on this, it's already so hot here. Oh, that would just... Yeah. Mm, yeah. No, I don't what if do. we pull a muscle and then we go charging into the bleeding city? That sounds really dangerous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, should I, I think we should, I... Be, we should be loose and limber, you know? No. Could I just, like, lift We do some stretches... Hey, hey, come, come on. You know how your face hurts? Because you've been doing the wrong type of chin-up. I'm telling you to do the Sangha chin-ups. You're doing the regular ones. Just I mean, I also, I also got the burn on my face from a, de a devil. That, that's kind of why it hurts yeah. as well. Yeah, that makes more sense. But, you know, I don't <laughs> care about that. You know who else doesn't care about it? The devils that are going to be in there are going to kick your butt, and they're not going to care how ugly you look. I'll tell you. I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, you know, you make a good point. I will uh, have Churro take the workout in my place. Go, Churro. <laughs> 
So the, it's through a combination of actual morning workouts and a kind of semi-berating motivational speech, you guys all get your uh, your morning routine and, and gain the temporary hit points. Do they change oh, now that you leveled up, Sonia? Yeah, it's a play one more. Okay. So 15? 15. Uh, oh, damn. damn. Everybody get those 15 temp HP. Mm-hmm. Y'all so, looking pretty big for a wizard now. So dude, that pretty feet. big for a wizard. So that before, feet is so clutch. Before you, out of the like coming out of the the um the earth around here, you see what looks to be this like kind of like dark reddish, blackish, stony type of thing surrounding and rising up and slowly enveloping the top of this this gleaming white ivory citadel in front of you. Where do you guys go? Forward. Okay. So as you guys start to approach, you see, actually, as you get closer, it's it's not stone. It's not earth. You see a great disgusting scab, the size Ugh. of a large hill, rising up from a stinking swamp of blood. The dome top of an alabaster <sighs> temple pokes through the scab, and you see many black iron chains of Avernus converging on the building, attaching deep within whatever this grotesque mound is. Uh, well, just this lovely. place is lovely. Yeah. Also, by the way, uh, Scuzz, just for reference, I'm using the third eye ability to be able to see invisible within 10 feet of me. For okay. Oh, the rest Sonya, of the day. would you, as you guys leave your, your more machines back there, are you taking Slobber Chops in with you? Uh... I, I think I have to. Slower chops can't stay in the car. They can't leave the AC on. Okay, yeah. good point. Even if you roll the windows down, it's still really hot. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably hotter if you roll the windows down. Okay, so take a slower chops in, and you are seeing invisible Hamon. Yep. Lulu, Only the ten feet though. So Lulu yeah, looks cool. around and she's her. She gets a little bit worried. She says, mm, uh, "I think that this scab is going to eventually cover the entire structure." We can't get the Sword of Zerial. We need to find a way in. Uh, it is very strange. I've never quite seen anything quite like this, but I assume the best way to try to go it in is to get to the top where the scab is not reached yet. Mm -hmm. she, she nods, but she says, um, the only entrance that I remembered is actually at the bottom, but she oh. moves forward and kind of starts looking at this. She's like, this looks like it's solid rock. And all of you guys walk, look as you see this, you know, fleshy mass. The, at the bottom here, it almost looks like solid rock. Kind of like lava rock black with veins of deep red throughout it. And as you look and kind of squint your eyes and kind of look up and down this thing, you can see what looks to be scratch marks or at least attempts to, to chip away at it. There's bits and pieces of it, just like a scab, that have been pulled away, and you can see uh, some like red fleshy bits underneath. Oh, God, but even the red no. fleshy bits underneath down here at the bottom are solid. Just hardening. The scab's hardening around the base. Yep. Okay. Uh, Lulu, uh, since you have never change. Yeah. <laughs> Lulu, since you have some of your memories back, and you seem to remember entrances near the base of these things, uh, do you have a good estimate how far beneath the surface of these uh, surface it might be? Just based from your own your own memories, or the location? I think it would like straight in front of me right now, but I don't know how we can get to it from here unless we really start digging well that's the thing if, if, if it's only a you know 30 50 feet something like this maybe we can do something about this but if it's 100 feet 200 feet down then i don't remember and as she says that you hear a sickening pop oh. as above you guys higher up along the slope you see a spurt of deep red blood like spew into the air and then cascade mm -hmm. down the slope. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, is no, it oh, no. oh no. Is it steaming? No. Okay. God, this is like a pimple popper's like greatest fucking. Oh, dream. oh god. <laughs> god. 
Anyways. <laughs> um, Lulu, Lulu determined, flaps her wings and starts moving up the slope. Yep, let's look for an entrance at the top. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think that's our best, best bet. It does not seem like we'll be able to get through the base very easily here. You start climbing, following her up there. You head up about, you know, 100 feet or so. And suddenly you start to notice that there's your, your feet are kind of not sinking in, but it feels like you're walking on like a trampoline. As you look down, oh. the earth beneath you is spongy, soft. I'm like standing on there, pushing with my tail and my, just like... Guys? Do you, yeah. Do you feel that? Oh yeah, I really wish I had. It didn't, but yes, I do. It's like Hamon's belly. No, that's not soft and tender and gross. <laughs> Aflipsis pushes down a little bit too hard, and her foot goes through the fleshy, soft part here, and with a spurt. I'd argue that it was my tail, but okay. Oh, your tail, whatever it is, <laughs> breaks through. I just stop immediately, like. Look around, like, oh. Maybe we won't do this. Found so... a way in, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Lulu. So I have wing boots. Yeah. Uh, I'm definitely using them. <laughs> not... Just to walk <laughs> over everything. <laughs> to but, not do what I just yeah. did. <laughs> Ilya, Ilya just hovers by. <laughs> just making her way up the up the I'm side gonna of the stomp thing. harder now. Ilya, as you as you hover a little bit above the ground, you can see further up what looks <clears> to be a large divot indentation. Does it like does it look like caved out or like As you get closer, it looks to be deeper and deeper, and as you start to stare and try to see what it is, it's a tunnel. The walls oh, chewed and clawed apart. You can see obvious claw marks, bite marks, as this, well, basically like a 30 by 30 foot hole has been opened up in the side of the mountain near the top. Uh, Uh, So seeing this, she turns around, heel in air, and just goes right back down. Do we see this? Or you Lulu, flies, Lulu flies directly past Ilya and looks at it. She says, "Not an entrance." I'm thrilled to hear it. Nope. I'm gonna stand. Um, I'm Come gonna on, has stand a and oh, yeah. look down by my foot mm-hmm. and just kind of be like quick, 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 through the little, you know, whatever I just created. And I'm like, I thought this was one too, and like point, point down. And be like, what if I, I just push harder? <laughs> The effect is much larger. Also, Hamon is absolutely permanent. Uh, dis- what the fuck did I just read face on this whole time? Just that, just that look <laughs> of disgust at everything. Yep. <laughs> so as you as you move along the spongy surface, you can see Lulu fluttering about this this large entryway, big flesh tunnel that's at the top here. You can see the that it is tunnel. still. Lulu. You can see it's slightly. It's slightly pulsing as <laughs> almost what looks to be it's trying to grow back and close oh. itself up. Ooh. Okay, I want to take... Uh, I don't know if what else, everyone else wants to do real quick, but... Two things, yeah, I want to take two quick things as I see this. One, take a close look at the claw and whatever marks that look like it opened to see if I can get a sense of the scale of whatever caused this. Sure. Uh, give me an investigation check. Okay. Uh, I, I will. I will assist with that. Actually, I'll help oh, yeah, you it out. makes sense. We're looking. Uh, oh yeah, I am yeah. pretty good. So the advantage then is that how that works? Yep. All right. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Sixteen. It's multiple smaller claws. So it's not okay. like a large creature, but it seems like a horde mm-hmm. or a full battalion of creatures was tearing through this upper fleshy part of the scab to get in. Like human sized, or what? What? Like, do we have at least sense of scale and what these claw marks are? Medium to large creature. Okay. Uh, and then the second thing I want to do is looking at where it seems to be trying to grow back. I'm going to hold my hand out and cast a unmoving firebolt. Basically try to cauterize to see if there's anything to the flesh here. It absolutely reacts to it. Like retreating backwards. You can see it physically going like as you singe this flesh and cauterize it. And it stops quivering and moving. 
Oh, that's good to know. Uh, I kind of want to do this the whole thing. I mean, <laughs> I, it it smells no good, I'll tell you that much, but at least we can try to push the back of the wall of flesh if we try to get stuck in these things. Yeah, um, we have the ability to cauterize large sections of it at once if things get hairy. I hope it does not get hairy. Yeah, no, that no, was I mean, a poor choice of yeah, words, I and I, I realize that now. Oh, gosh. You're gonna find a, you're gonna find a tumor of hair and teeth. Oh, 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 no. oh. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Seriously. That's right. where you just throw your hands up and go, nope, and just turn around. Yeah, this is, it's interesting, like, the, I don't think you guys have encountered anything that's been this kind of disgusting and weird in, yeah. in, in hell just yet, or in a furnace. Sonya, this is definitely, like, just disgusting you. Ilya is completely turned off by this. But how, however, Lulu is, turns to you and she says, I, the entrance, it's below. We can follow this tunnel. Uh, maybe it leads to it. And she just flies inside. All right, let's go after the, let's go after the elephant. We don't have much. Uh, mm. Or, or we can just let her go. Yeah, no, that's no, Clayton's you, ass. No, I, no I, we're I, pretty I, much tied I, to her I'm fate at this point. Here. Yeah. Where, yeah, where I mean, did you cut destroyed? This is your mom's friend. You gotta listen to her. And, oh, yeah, she's not... also been pushing us this whole time, though. Like since we met, she's like, "Let's go, go, go." Now she's like, "Yeah." And a very uncharacteristic like... move. Hamon with Churro starts to walk down ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I think we have to push this one through. Um, that's a poor uh, choice of words, but uh, it was yeah. the correct choice of words. I I don't like the idea of pushing through a flesh tunnel. That's. Look, yeah, like, I'm sure we've all done it once like before. Make like a poop. flies back up again. Like, <laughs> yeah. he just does that thing, like, you know, like a dog that, like, runs off around the corner, and then you're like, the owner doesn't follow, so she, like, runs back. Like, <laughs> runs back, pokes her head up over the thing. What are we waiting for? Like, Thumper going Um, downstairs. apparently we're discussing, uh, whether or not... Yeah, no, you're right. Uh, Let's go. This is disgusting, but no discussion needed. Um, yeah, and I'll, uh, I'll follow after. Yep, I'll put the dancing lights on in front of us to, to light the way, and I'll be doing continuous Hail Marys as we walk through this. Yeah, lucky thing too, though, Ilya, is that your, your flying boots, or your winged boots, allow you to not touch any of the surfaces within this place. Wonderful. Nice. Lucky you. Okay. So, uh, meanwhile, the rest of us see what you're seeing. We're going to be using a. This is a weird map. This map is yeah. vertical. Oh. Okay. So, and it's. Big. Oh, so we're going down. You're okay, at the. Yes, at the precipice of this tunnel. It slants downwards. You can see where there have been claw marks as, th as creatures have either fallen or toppled their way through here. So uh, this everybody is the Z except axis. for everybody except for Ilya needs to roll me an athletics check or an acrobatics check as you guys try to descend <laughs> down inside. Woo! Yeah, yeah, I will definitely yes. um I think we should all roll athletics just because we're all so good. <laughs> right. Yeah, we're, we're all just on your chin up. The... I gotta have a spell for I think this. I'm a wizard. Fuck. This is some like darkest dungeon shit. <laughs> Looking at this map, it's like watching an x-ray of a kidney stone. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about right. Uh, athletics are It's like that episode of South Park. Yep. Oh guys, 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 guys. It's a magic school bus episode. Oh my goodness. Hamon. Oh no. So those who rolled at those who rolled athletics, which is Can only you Sonya. Just telling uh, her class to push into the flesh tube. Yeah, we're going up. Oh, who was the in the magic school bus, who was the who was the boy? Who was the student who never joined them? Like Arnold. Arthur? 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 Or Arnold? Yeah. I think it was Arnold. Yeah, Arnold. Was it? Okay. Yeah. He was one who was like always like concerned and yeah, never wanted to. There was one yet. episode where they go inside Arnold. This is that episode. Yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that one semi-traumatized me. It was also before. a video game. Really? That's even oh, worse. Yep. Hmm. It's awful. It's god awful. Oh. No, understandably so. The only thing I remember from Magic School Bus very vividly is Arnold taking off his helmet on Pluto. 
Because he wanted oh, to Oh, dude, me too. <laughs> yeah. That one scared the fuck out of me. He's like, yeah. oh, what? Oh, and then his head fucking freezes. And then yeah. Miss Frizzle with her, like, god abilities saves everyone. But, you know, whatever. Seriously. Miss, Miss did we discuss Frizzle? this? I think this group, we discussed this with this group. Miss Frizzle is pretty much like a demigod, right? Yeah, she's like Loki yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah she's, uh, she's like a demigod, but she's also, like, really good at child endangerment. Mm-hmm. But they well, never, I, they I never die, so as far as we know. Yeah, yeah, have you ever read mythology? Alive. That's just called a demigod. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, what was the thing? What was the fucking stupid meme I said the other day? Where it was like, uh, Greek father. Why does this boy not look like me? Zeus up in the clouds, like <laughs> <laughs> Zeus doing the monkey puppet look. Whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so those who do athletics, Sonya, you just you're able to just climb your way down physically, your physical prowess show, doing your using your chin to stabilize yourself, you make your way down there. <laughs> those who are doing acrobatics, however, how do you guys like make your way down? Because that's a little bit different. I jump at the precipice and do a fucking forward flip okay. and Superman land. And it's hey, you know, just like inside of a gymnastic studio where the floor is all cushioned. You land and it doesn't even hurt. Oh. It's just like, and I like stick a little bit. Into yeah, that. it's like Gee. jumping into a foam pit, but <laughs> yeah, just sink oh, way into so it. Fun. Oh man, could I bring two pigs down here? No. Wait. Do I have <laughs> what's, my current, what's my current bike? Uh, oh, sorry, so sorry, sorry, sorry. Yammering from behind you, you hear. Yabbity, 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 as uh, oh no, Skeddy. <laughs> Slide oh, face just first. Bites out of everything as we're walking by. <laughs> down the, I, I just have a down feeling like Skeddy would like <laughs> straight up baby. just like water slide this. Skeddy's gonna be like you know those those uh the videos of the dogs in mud. No, it's in the hyena the hyenas when they're going through the elephant graveyard. Oh, how they, oh I thought you were gonna say how a hyena eats an elephant. elephant. Because you guys don't want to look up how a hyena eats an elephant. No. Yeah, they do the ass first. Not, yep. not yep. Asshole. Mm -hmm. Yo, there. Well, I mean, oh, hyenas, here's, hyenas, here we were, go. hyenas were ahead of the curve. Yeah, that's what <laughs> I was thinking of. Yeah, right here. <laughs> yes, that's skinny. <laughs> In the gore. <laughs> yeah, so he just does that thing where you know, like you see those uh, those videos of the dogs sliding down a grassy hill on their side. He just mm -hmm. like gets on his side at the top of the at the top of the tunnel and it's just like <laughs> yeah, and just <laughs> and just like lands down there, gore streaked. Licks his face Scooby Doo style and gets up. Nice. And yes, also <laughs> chewing on own leg. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So ahead of you guys, you guys see the the tunnel actually does. You end up moving your way through these, the, this tunnel, and ahead of you, you see an interesting sight. The scab on one side of this narrow passage has been stripped away by claws, tooth, and nail, and you see partially revealed. One of the citadel's stained glass windows. The Ooh. opaque blue and yellow panes depict the contemplative face of a beautiful angel. It doesn't oh. look like my mom, does it? It is definitely not Adelphi. You know who okay. you know you, you know how who yeah. she is. It does not look yeah. like her. Just making sure. Yeah. You know your mom. I have to keep up the is this my mom thing, but since I already know who my mom is, it, it has to be it. a little bit. Um, all celestials look the same. Yeah. Uh, quick question: though. Is it how f um, how far underground or under flesh are we now? Just by estimate from how we come down, you're about thirty, forty feet down. Okay, and this will look from like it should have been high up. This would have been high up on a wall. Yes, when it was. It would have. Okay, We've just past so the this is there. And you can <laughs> yeah. Well, you can also the see that like that as the as the walls of this place ooze and and leak like viscous blood. This window seems to be repelling any sort of any sort of liquid like you watch it dripping down the wall and just kind of like yeah. unnaturally just moves around this window and down you can see where the where the all the kind of like flesh the the fleshy walls have been clawed and and dug and bit away around this thing but the window itself is is scratchless undamaged interesting all right um So we going through this thing? It... Uh, well, I mean, this, no, the, we're looking at this hey, from the side. This is a side view right now, right? Yeah, Lulu squeals so... happily, and 
and tries to fly headfirst through the window. Um, and then immediately it, ricochets off of it like a it, like a dog running into a glass door. Boom! Yeah. <laughs> flat, 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 flat. Uh, is uh, this window important to you? Is this where is some sort of? Uh... She shakes her head, kind of you know, seeing little Lulu swimming around her head. <laughs> Uh, I thought that maybe I could break it, but pretty solid. But I feel really good. Did you hit your head a little bit hard? No, no, no. I feel I feel really good. I feel do, healthy. Do you have, how many fingers am I holding up? Correct number. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're holding up yes. Um, I'll take a closer look now at the window. It, I'm assuming there's some sort of magical aura or just something that seems or maybe just celestial nature in that case but there's something that's it's not Give me an between the yeah between the goo avoiding it and her feeling good after clock in her dome oof there's something about it yeah definitely yeah. all right something about window cool uh i would like to uh walk through the window like try and walk up to it and Nice, just like that, just like the end of the Water Deep campaign, you walk into the mirror. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you walk into the window, but as soon as you, as soon as you make contact with it, you feel a burst of of energy, of of divine, like good feeling energy course through you, and you suddenly feel vitalized. You have you gain temporary temporary HP, twenty to be exact. So oh, it replaces, it replaces your your pet okay. clock, but you have twenty temp HP. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the plus five. Uh, guys, you should touch this. It's a good vibe window. It is uh, a good vibe. I'm using my mage hand to touch it. I will walk up to it and touch it as I well. I gotta then. say, touch. this thing is making me feel way better than the morning's exercise. Are you guys yeah. high? Like, I don't know. I'm just really gonna... glad I skipped those burpees. That's so everybody who touches it, it Come gets here. filled with that like divine, divine, holy feeling of just uplifting, and everything's going to be good. Hmm. Yeah, you guys so all. You don't need cardio. You just need magic windows. Okay, does, what if does mage hand count? It? Yeah, like because I use mage hand. Doesn't, the mage hand didn't do anything. Yeah, like the mage hand. Care. The mage hand keeps um, When I'm close up to it and I touch it. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Thaumaturgy to make a sound twenty f or ten feet behind the window, and I'm gonna listen to see if there's any if it sounds like there's open area or if it's muffled inside of something. You hear nothing. Magic okay, voices. so it's ah, uh, damn it. Okay. Wait, what if I go off to the angle and angle it so it doesn't go through the window, but I make the sound effect happen behind the window? Still nothing. Does that make nothing? Okay. I try. Can I? Can I? Use and to knock on it. It makes a hollow knock sound. Like a low thud. Boom, boom. Lulu, do you know if this thing opens? I don't think so. The, the entrance I remember is further down. Well, perhaps we should, we should keep it going. This was a, a very beneficial window to find, I suppose. Question for DM. Yes. If Flip were to touch it, does it change the impact at all? Flip touches am I still, it. Am I still technically evil? Flip touches it and it just feels cold to her. Doesn't get any type of HP. Great. Because I was like, I would not like that. Feeling. Yeah, good vibe, feeling. good vibe, good vibe window. Like Good yeah. vibrations. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, like, I mean, we all feel it. Maybe there's something wrong with you. Yeah, well, we know that much. Yeah, that's fair. Y'all are on, on some. Yeah, have you tried not good being vibes. rude? <laughs> have I tried? I'm I'm sorry. What what was that, yeah. Sonia? <laughs> yeah, tried not being rude. I'm sorry. Do do you do you do you guys? I start speaking in infernal. Do you guys understand what he's saying? Hey hey no, uh, I did not order that with cheese. <laughs> yeah, it, I had infernal back. It's like I think he's saying that you could just like you know, not uh, be a dick to people. How uh, how is that possible? You know I don't, I mean, I don't know. The, the rest of life. The, 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 I mean, you can be a dick Come to bad on. people. Just don't be a dick to good people, you know? When am I ever a dick to Or how about you just people? try to keep your... Uh... Literally every moment I've known you. That's I, just Okay, here, here's the way to think of it. You can be, you I can will be a dick. say, 
she did help the crazy knoll locked in a closet. Yeah, if you you if you channel if you're channeling your inner inner dick in the proper way, you do good with the inner. So I don't have Skinny, an Skinny inner runs dick. runs head first like into the he runs head first into the window. Conk. <laughs> Skinny. Boing. Just ricochets oh, out of it. That's gonna hurt. Does I he, don't think he has too much of a pain reception on his head. He's head he first. Vibing? He's head first in a pile of flesh, eating it. Is he vibing? That's no. a good question. I mean, he does not look like he glows is at all. happy though. Look at him. He's covered in flesh. <laughs> all right, I, don't want to, so I really guys, do not want to look at that. You guys see that there is so the the window is exposed here, and as you guys look around, you can see. Um, oh, uh, did you do dancing lights? Um, yes, Yvonne? I would have them around us. Yeah. So what's the range on that? Thirty. Ooh, I'll have them all over my head again in the cross, so it's thirty feet around us. That's eh. Thirty feet of and I'll do. Uh, it's 20, sorry, 2040. I'm pretty sure. Let me double check the spell again. I keep forgetting. I will and cast light light. On my sword just uh, in case we get split up or something. I don't know. Wherever it's each. In, it's uh, 60 feet. Blah, 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 light, blah, 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 blah. If you stack them, though, it does something. Yeah, it's 2020. Yeah. Oh, no, that's the other one. Okay, it's fine. It's 2020. It's basically the same. So you guys yeah. see three branching paths, one above you that you could probably climb to and reach. Uh, and then two that descend down into the darkness. Oh, you said it was further, further below us, yes? I mean, so we're going down on the fleshy meat. That's, that's we're going right. down, here. down so, on the fleshy Glimmer, meat. Glimmer, as your as your companions you are talking, you already said it. Just <laughs> saying it. Your as your companions are talking. No, I said we were pushing into the flesh tube. That's a whole different thing. You hear Not strange yammering <laughs> from above you. Different side yammering. of the same coin. Mm -hmm. Strange <laughs> yammering from above you that I don't think you understand. And from uh, below you, you hear a low, a low droning sound, like like a buzz. All right, so we got bees below us, and something sentient presumably above us sounds like Do they're I hear arguing the... they're arguing above you mm. can I, I listen in yeah. and see if like i understand it debate. fuck that drama if you listen it's closely you can hear um billion you hear arguing but i don't think that you understand i understand three languages what do you understand common celestial and infernal you do not understand it what about uh, Dupa Dupa Eye? Dupa Dupa Eye? What is Dupa? I forgot what Dupa Dupa Eye remembers. Oh, my eye knows giant and. Can you also just comprehend languages? Um, Only when remember, it wants he to. He cannot. No, mm. his his. He has detect he knows magic. Giant... Oh, it's detect magic. I think it was giant. Sorry, and my abyssal. bad. I want to say it was giant and abyssal. Or the. Oh no, one D four additional languages chosen by the DM. Yeah, and we rolled that and let me look and see. If only I had chosen my third eye to be comprehend language and not invisibility, I might mm -hmm. be useful right now. <laughs> um I think the visibility would be useful at some point. You guys rolled on this, let me see. Blah, blah. I wanna say one was um Oh no, deep it is abyssal. It's deep speech and abyssal. So um yep. Reginald Reginald speaks to you. Because Good master, I hear some abyssal arguing coming from that tunnel. They are, hmm, how to put this, trying to decide when to eat her. They're asking if some of them think that she is ready, others do not. Um, right, uh, so, down that way. Uh, demons talking about eating a lady. So I think we go save the lady. That does sound like a better plan than arguing about whether or not this is a meat tube or whatever it is that you were arguing up. And the, let's go up the flesh pipe and to save this lady. That one. Yep. Let's yep. push deeper into this flesh tube and save this lady. Pipe. Okay. So do you guys Kill have rope I like it. Do you have <laughs> rope or anything on you? <laughs> any sort of any sort of hemp uh, rope to, to climb up there? Is this the only campaign I don't have a grappling hook in? <laughs> Hold on. Oh, I do. I have ten feet of hemp and why do All I have ten right. feet of hemp? I hemp think hemp? I have because it comes oh, no. an adventures kit. Probably weighs ten pounds. It's weighs yeah, it's, weighs ten pounds. It's fifty feet. Yeah, do fifty I feet of hemp and rope. So, mm -hmm. 
Yeah, you guys use that. Um, oh, Ilya can actually fly it up there very easily. Oh, yeah. Yo, so yo, 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 magic, uh, yo would I be able or... to take out my tentacle whip? Yeah. And just like... Whoosh. It's too far away. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, the distance. Bang. The distances here. I are... try. Hey, hey, I try yeah, to find a, a nodule of flesh to tie that on. She just has this disgusted look on every word you just said. <laughs> he keeps getting more and more disgusted with every addition. Hey, at least he did the word verbiage. moist. Oh, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. Yeah. Uh, she, it could she picks up the rope with. She picks up um, one end of the rope uh, with Mage Hand and then just flies up. Yeah. Doesn't <laughs> even touch the rope. Mage Hand can tie it around something securely. It doesn't take much. There's there's a lot of different things that you can tie things to here. And the party climbs up. And as you get closer, you start to hear the arguments getting louder and louder and louder. louder. So I can actually speak abyssal, so I can understand. Yeah, exactly. What's so stuff. you understand yeah. this. Um, they are... They are, as you get closer, you start to hear more details of the conversation. Yes, they're arguing about when to eat her. One of them yells out, She's not bloated enough. You gotta leave her in the pool longer. Another one yells, She is totally bloated enough. She's filled to the brim with juices. No, she is not bloated. Oh, you guys really don't know what to hear what they're saying, but uh, I think we're about to find out. Um, Reginald, Reginald speaks to... Uh, Elyon. Um, good sir. Uh, they seem to be arguing about the bloat levels of said female. <laughs> um, apparently they're arguing about how bloated this female is. And yeah, there's something about the, they've stuck her in the pool. I, I, uh, I really don't know. Uh, are you guys proceeding Please stealthily? Stop every word. <laughs> are you guys proceeding stealthily or loudly? I'm I'm rushing forward because it sounds like this lady may not have much time left. But she's still not bloated. Okay, uh, I so Ophelion Ophelion leads the charge and, and starts running down this tunnel. Uh, ahead of you, what you see is five goat-headed humanoid-looking things around a pool of what looks to be blood. These goat-headed demons reeking of rot crouch like do the slob squat around the edge of the pool <laughs> and they're staring at this woman's body floating face down in the middle of the pool. Oh, she's already, she's definitely she already, already dead. dead. Boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Wait, wait, I'm not there. I'm not there. Well, I'm going to say, so Aphelion's rushing in. Is anybody else rushing boldly behind Aphelion? Uh, I'm following behind him. Okay. No, I'll drop down to get a better look of what's going on, but I'm going to slowly stay in the back. All right. Oh, Churro goes running in, though. He's all about this. Okay. I'm putting my hands up at the back of the party. Like, what the fuck? Well, he is doing the exact same. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Uh, nice, Sonya, right? what are you up to? Like, oh, Sonya's going to go in. He's like, I ain't going to let no fla flappy, flappy boy get there before me. Try to race you for him. Port. Yeah. So, this is what you guys see. Uh And let's oh roll boy, initiative I as, <laughs> as Aphelion goes charging <laughs> in and just like, ah, ah, ah. Uh, these goat headed, be. these goat headed individuals stare at, uh, stare at Aphelion, all of their heads turn as they stand up from their squat oh. and yell out in abyssal. There's no way you're taking our food. And, uh, yeah, <clears throat> it's time to Also, I, I don't have any light on my character. I can't see anything. I can't see, can't see shit. Yep. <laughs> I'm blind as fuck. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Shit, that, these guys just like, oh man, this is like, oh, this is like Cletus' worst nightmare. Uh, like, this is, is what's going to happen to like, Cletus. Yo, we don't <laughs> yeah, want right. food. She's already dead. Let's go. Yeah, all right. <sighs> um, all right. So let's roll initiative. Uh, damn, I was hoping to uh, surprise him, but no, this, no, I you guys are running right angrily. Yeah, no. I was like, I'm not going to run to the battle. What do you mean you're not surprised? I'm just going to like slide in and like. Attack, but you know. Oh no! You fucking Why? going. Surprise! <laughs> surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> Why aren't you surprised, motherfucker? I, I have some ideas. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna grab another drink real quick as you guys roll. So this is the down. Now we're seeing it from above. Yeah, so now we're... you're in the sphincter. 
and we're all in the sphincter. This well, no, whole you're... thing is one large sphincter. But look, I mean, the, the, you're you're the part where the sphincter muscles actually contracted at the moment, like you know. Please so stop I'm, I'm at the it's, it's pinching <laughs> off the y'all are, <laughs> y'all are really getting into this. Sphincter is a great word. Sphincter is a good word. You miss the sphincter. <laughs> the what? Oh, this <laughs> thing? Yeah, it's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, everybody, everybody, roll. Are we missing anyone? I do not see an Ilya. Did you roll Ilya? A two. A two? Okay, I just need to put you in the in the turn order then. Oh yeah, token then roll. No worries, I got it. Yeah, it, it's just he's so uh, used to it with me. Reference. I just yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Okay, let's get this going. All right, so at the top of the round is the uh, yeah the Blog Z Blog Blue uh the the Bulat you. <laughs> The fuck are these I'm sorry. Called? I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I need to check on my husband. Make sure he's not. Stroke. <laughs> yeah. like, Do you smell like toast? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so he goes <laughs> and will uh, <laughs> ro- will run forward. Get ready for the Cletus rolls. <laughs> yeah, please. Okay. <laughs> Come on, big Cletus energy. <laughs> yeah, big Cletus energy for this guy. Uh, so he runs forward and he whips around. He doesn't use his head, uh, and he turns his tail to you. Bang! A felion. Misses. Uh, yes, that does miss. How do you even? Okay, you guys, help me out with here. Bulezau, Bulezau, Bulezau. Bule, yeah, sure. Bulezau or Bulezau. I don't know. Bule, All right. Bule-zow. So Bule-zow. his tail whips around, misses. Bulezau or Bulezau. One of the two. Oh, Jeremy. B money, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy works. <laughs> this one runs over it's here. A silent A. I mean, it's a silent B, guys. It's actually just runs over here. Ooh, Sonia. Ooh. Actually, French. it's a silent L and a silent Z. It's just Bo. Bo, nice. It's All right, boo. Sonia. Yeah, you can boo, 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 squeeze. You can squeeze <laughs> through the fleshy <laughs> orifice <laughs> there. Mm. Way into oh, the room. Yeah, feels good, baby. Just. Well, <laughs> 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 no, just tighten here. <laughs> oh, it's tight and warm. Perfect. I was gonna say it's warm too. And more. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, it's flamed in red. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit this one. Neon, did you realize what you were getting into? Yeah. <laughs> you joined at the. You joined the Welcome. best opportunity. All right. You so you're attacking the one standing in front of uh, Philion? I have so many worries about it. This wasn't one of them. <laughs> <laughs> nice so it's a channel right in here. Like... Rich, when are you attacking, Sonya? Uh, the one that's right next to Felion. Okay, cool. So it's Goat Head turns to you. I need you to give me a uh, DC 13 con save, please. Oh, I'm so good at these. Mm-hmm. Plus four. Plus, yep. So it's rotting presence does not affect you. Well, of course it won't. It's just gross and foul. It's not actually bad. Okay. <laughs> but 26 will nail it. So does that five automatically get applied now? Yeah, it's just an extra five radiant. So this is something new. What does this What does this look like with you? I think it's, it's kind of like um, as he goes to hit them, you see like Sanya has as he goes to swing and he hits this guy. Just hits like seems to hit extra hard, and you can kind of see like on Sanya's chest, like as some of like the plates like kind of separates in his arm. You can see on like his chest, he has a little tiny patch on his undershirt. It just says. Best guy in Avernus. <laughs> the from the oh no! And it glows as he hits this thing. Grows <laughs> for life. Nice. Um. I literally, I was. Muted, so, so I don't know if you that's your first attack, Sonya. Do you want to try to use your armor on him, or do any more uh, smiteys? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start with. Uh, I have to keep hitting him though before I can just go to the regular attack, right? Can I just? You can do thing. you can do the shove action between attacks if you want oh, to. Oh yeah, hell yeah! Get out of the way, punk! I got another one to kill. All right, so a oh, ten something. athletics on that. Uh, you watch as this goat digs its goat hoofs into the ground, uses its sure-footed ability. <laughs> <laughs> it actually has. And barely, <laughs> barely resists it. There's once again just the you shove your shoulder into it, it lowers its head and just <laughs> boom, <laughs> just butt its it it head butts you back. Its feet grind and press into the fleshy surface. Second attack on it. I damn it, Cletus. Gosh, your your goat noises are magnificent. Okay, another fifteen. Fifteen will hit it. Yeah. 
Dude. Solid damage. Another 13 damage on this thing. Okay. Uh, in the back, you see the other Bulazao goat man. Looks at the group entering the room. Looks back at the corpse in the middle of the pool. Looks back at the group. And then just sits eagerly looking at the corpse. <laughs> oh. Okay. His hubris will be his downfall. Come on. Uh huh. I'm going to. Can't see too much from this angle because of the sphincter opening here. But I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a. I would. I would say so. <laughs> I would say, Hamon, that you can see what you see. Don't worry too much about actual like terrain. I put the the lights here for a reason. It's like a. It's oh, like okay. you'll have basically this thing over here. If you wanted to shoot a ranged attack spell at it, it would have like half cover over a okay. rocky out or a sorry a fleshy outcropping of of flesh. I'll still, I think I'll still go, because this one seems to be blocking us. I'll go ahead and give it an attack. So I'm just going to open up with uh, bonus action, Yeet Knife. So that I'll try to throw it behind it so it's in there. Yep. If that makes sense. And then I'll, I think on the first throw, it's been a while. I think I get, it can attack right away. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so it'll swing 16. Uh, let me put it out there. Yeah. Bus Where are you? Oh, Bus I'll, do you, I'll, I'll yeah, do you change the uh -huh. name? Yeah, because I can actually do that, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's... Oh, I know. It'll be Pablo. <laughs> Pablo! <laughs>